so we wrap up a uh, <laughs> an unexpectedly eventful uh, two night three day getaway at beautiful Lock 40 yes the same place where we were last weekend so why were we there again and what was the break in between I think I told you that the weather was uh, really crappy in between a couple days from our first trip to second and it was actually looking to be bad weather actually yesterday rained all morning and it rained really really heavy too so we were looking at the weather and more leaning towards well we're not going to go out we'll just stay at the marina for the rest of the week and the rest of my holidays but uh, anchor girl was smart enough to tell me wednesday morning not tell me but suggest she says why don't we just go and see what it's like we'll get out the lake because it was pretty uh, windy at the marina on wednesday morning just before we left uh, and they were forecasting a strong gust so she says, why don't we just go out, we'll go out in the lake, see what it looks like, and it's not too bad, we'll keep going. It's like, okay, but I'm going out in the lake, I'm not turning around, we're going to, wherever I get to, I'm going to have to dock the boat again, so I might as well be at a lock. So that's what we did, and that was fun. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to fast forward what happened Wednesday, where we were, and we'll uh, come back to that in a future date. But the fun that I had an experience yesterday and today was uh, start up the generator in the morning as we do every morning, charge batteries, make breakfast, and you all know the rest of that. And uh, Anchor Girl said, wow, it's really steamy because the way we were parked the boat, we were starboard to the wall, and that's the side that exhausts out of, so you can see the exhaust more readily. But it was a very humid uh, morning and one of the boats that was actually coming out of the lock at the same time his exhaust coming out the side was steaming a bit too and I said and hope that it was just the atmospheric conditions but it didn't get any better so shut it down I thought well um, it looks like maybe the impeller so I checked the strainer it was fine and so I no problem I get a spare I got two or three spare impellers uh, for that generator on the boat crawled through got it done I had to uh, take the water pump off the actual uh, motor, move it away so I can get at the back where the impeller is. And that water pump I had put on brand new only one year ago when we got this boat initially. So Anchor Girl said, well, why would the impeller go? And I said, I don't know. Maybe it's just fatigued and it's soft and it's just not doing its thing. So I pulled the old one out. It looked okay, put the new one in, fired it up, same issue. Uh, so I dug a little bit deeper and uh, followed the water lines all the way through down to the, the through hall where the seacock is and I discovered that the little pipe that comes through the, uh, the, the pickup through the hall was jammed with seaweed. So I had to dig it out and dig it out and then dig it out some more and then open the seacock before I finally had a good flow of water coming out. And so that cleared it up and it was all good, fired up the generator and it was running fine and that was yesterday and we had no more issues with it. So I ran it, you know, an hour and a half or so in the morning. Ooh, we're getting some weight going through here. Darn sea rays. Um, and, uh, and then yesterday evening, around dinner time as we always do, and it ran fine. So again, this morning, it was running and Anchor Girl says it doesn't sound good. Where was I? I was inside the boat, right? I was in the bathroom. Yeah, I was getting washed this morning. So I she said, shut it off. I said, shut it down. So shut it down. And I uh, traced everything through the lines. There was a big clump right at the top of the strainer. And as well, once I cleared that out, it, yeah, I disconnected the hose and I actually blew through the hoses and there were still some restrictions. And it was the actual, the hose, it's only a half inch. And I think that's a, the, the weak point is that's only a half inch inside diameter hose that comes up to the seacock and then sorry into the uh the strainer and to the engine to the water pump and well i'm probably showing you right now what i pulled out of there's a long string that was all wrapped around of seaweed and i was telling uh one of the guys that works at the lock of the lock stop just as we we're leaving just today about it and I said, you know, in all the years, we've never experienced that. We've stayed at many, many locks, ran the generators on this boat, last boat, the boat before, never had that issue. And uh, I said, I think it's just because where you tied up at the top side of a lock, 
every time the lock opens and they fill it, the water goes by, and then when they go, it goes that way. So everything is always drifting because he says we do our best to rake out the big clumps of seaweed as much as we can. I said, no, I get that. It's not your, it's not your fault. I'm not blaming you. It's just that it's just that's just the way it is. And I guess there was just a couple of clumps fire up the generator, sucked it up, got jammed, and that was the issue. So, long story short is I now have a spare spare impeller because I uh, took the uh, the old one off. I kept it in the box. It, it looks fine. And a new impeller on there, and I think I still have one or two more extra brand new in the box impeller. So we should be good. So just a story, just a uh, cautionary tale that if you want to, uh, if you have that issue yourself, just take a look at the lines coming from the through hall up and make sure that there's no obstructions because yesterday morning it was two and a half hours of time to do the impeller and then all the dick around with trying to get that seaweed out and that was one hour again this morning fortunately today it was it's been nice and cool and dry yesterday was just just sweating just sweating so anyways that's uh that and that kind of wraps up our um <laughs> Our fun few days. Few days. Fun. Well, um, as I mentioned, I'm not going to get into it, but uh, in the future down the road, I will talk about uh, what we experienced there at that log. All right. Okay. For now, that's it. And I will see you on the next one. Watch your strainers. <laughs> Cheers.